when trapping, we always seem to be dealing with extremes. Extreme high water, extreme low water, extreme hot weather, extreme cold weather. There's a lot to deal with. So I just came back from a lodge that I set up where there was six feet of water. And I was using baited snare poles and, and swinging 330s. Um, totally different setup here. So this is just a few miles down the road. There's hardly any water in this spot. I've got an alder flat. The beaver house is just behind me to my right. And uh, the landowner had problems with beavers in here. They kept breaking, uh, tearing the dam out. The beavers kept patching it up. So he said they're here. Um, and, and he was confident there was still beaver here. I was a little leery because there really uh, wasn't much sign and the water was so low. Well, I got to the house and I looked around and scouted. There was no feed pile or anything. Um, but once I chipped some holes, you could see some, there was some feed stashed somewhere. It wasn't a big pile. Um, but I found a few little runs. We had shelf ice, so like an inch of ice with a pocket of six inches or so of air space. Um, and then another little layer of ice uh, in, at the water level. And there's not much more than a foot of water in here. So in a situation like this, I like to use blind sets. Uh, you can narrow down where the beaver are moving. Um, so I've got three sets here. Uh, there, I could only find three places with enough water to make sets right around the house. And uh, these are 330 sets, they're blind sets, but I did put a little piece of, of aspen on uh, the jaws of these uh, just to have a little bit of bait attraction just in case I wasn't on the run because the runs weren't really well defined. So uh, it's been uh, five days since I set this up. So I came back with a little snowstorm here, some fresh snow. And uh, I just chipped all my holes, so I'm gonna, we're gonna find out what we got. So this was very active right near the, uh, right near the house. A lot of, uh, a lot of feed going on, uh, going on here. Quite a bit of activity. And we got a nice big beaver. Notice he was. I had to chip out of the ice because he was frozen, and, and there was only a foot of water in here. Um, we caught him right behind the head, behind the ears with the 330. It looks like he hadn't even touched the bait stick, so he was just moving in through here. Um, this little spot right here, we had a had an A-frame set up with a 330 on it. A little bit of bait. And we got another beaver. All right. Sweet. Looks like he did chew on this, so we got him, we got him on the bait on this 330. Oh, that is a nice big beaver. Two big ones. And back here, we had a little bit of a run here and uh, some activity, so I set that up and I, I uh, blocked it off with a few sticks. And we got another beaver. So, pretty awesome. Three for three at this site. Uh, that is really, really cool. Um, guess there were quite a few beavers in here after all. So I'm going to remake all three of these sets and come back in a few days. Uh, this is an animal damage setup. Uh, we want to get all these beavers out of here because the landowner's got road that keeps getting flooded. So uh, we'll, uh, we'll keep on trapping them, but that's pretty awesome.